Okay, here's the type of problem that we haven't had to do in quite a while, and some of my students have kind of forgotten how to solve this type of problem. We've got our end of the year assessment coming up in about three or four weeks, so I want to be sure that every student in here knows how to do this type of problem. It says, write the prime factorization of 300 using exponents. Okay, the strategy that I would use for solving this is I would make factor trees. And then once I get uh, the number factored out, then I can go ahead and uh, use exponents to do the prime factorization. Now, you can start uh, with a factor tree uh, any, any way you want. When you have a number like 300, I could say 50 times 6. I could say 2 times 150. I could say uh, I'll, I'll 3 times 100. There's different ways, but your prime factorization will always turn out the same. Now, on this one, I think I'm going to start it out because I don't want to have a huge factor tree, I'd rather have it become more of a bush than a factor tree. I'm going to say uh, 6 times 50. Now, 6 will factor down to 2 and 3. And then 50, I can do that as 2 and 25. And 25 is 5 and 5. So now all I have to do is figure out what is the prime factorization and use my uh, exponents. So I have 2, and I have 1, 2, 2, and I have 3, and I have only 1, 3, and then I have 5, and I have 1, 2, 5, so to write the prime factorization of 300 using exponents, I could say 2 squared times 3 times 5 squared. And that's the prime factorization of 300 using exponents. Now, the strategy I use is the same one I would do with any number. Prime factorization with a factor tree. Uh, you could have done other ways, but that's my favorite. And then just go ahead and look at your factors. Count up how many times those factors appear, and that tells you what the exponent you need. And then just write it on out. Do I have any questions here? Okay, uh, how many of you got the answer correct? Okay, how many of you made a simple error that now you realize what you did wrong? Okay, what happened to you, Carissa? When I done the, I done it, I, whenever I did the first part of the factor tree, I put small number of factors in the numerical three. Okay, so you came up with numbers that are factors that did not equal 300, so that's where your error was. Okay, that can happen, that can happen. I would, I would recommend double checking perhaps, just to make sure, uh, maybe something like that. Did anybody else make a simple error that they now see? Okay, what was the error that you made, Wyatt? Oh, error, but I made was, when I went down to five and five, I done two and a half to the Oh, so you said two and a half two times two? two? Yeah. Okay, so you want to use whole numbers, not mixed numbers or fractions. All right, anybody else? Okay. Then I hope that this little review has helped you, and hopefully everybody will understand how to do this when it comes when you're faced with this type of problem anytime.